people think that they can come and commit these acts of violence against the police department or against city property, and then they disappear in the crowd and go home, and they think it's over. It's not over. Strong words tonight in a CBS 4 News exclusive interview with Miami Police Chief George Kalina. Miami's top cop is speaking out after two more arrests tied to violent protests that ended with some of his patrol cars burned back in May. CBS 4's Peter Dench and the chief joins us live from Miami Police Headquarters with more in his interview with Chief Kalina. Peter? Well, Elliot, we can tell you that both people were arrested after incidents that happened on that Saturday night, May 30th, behind the Miami Police Department. Surveillance tape has been used to identify suspects. Miami Police Chief George Kalina says there is zero tolerance for what happened. If you broke the law, we're going to identify you and we're going to hold you accountable. Miami Police Chief George Kalina is still troubled by these images from the night of Saturday, May 30th. During protests spawned by the death of George Floyd while in Minneapolis police custody, people threw bottles, rocks, and debris at police and burned cop cars. Several officers were injured. Police say 25-year-old Oriana Albornoz of Papano Beach threw a large rock at one of them. One of our officers had her hand broken. She required surgery. And so we were able to arrest her. Albornoz is charged with two counts of battery and a law enforcement officer. After one car was damaged here, police say 19-year-old Ethan Berda of Miami was charged with stealing a bulletproof police vest from that vehicle. They say he was actually seen wearing a vest while on his Instagram account. And these are just two more in a, in a string of arrests that we've made, Peter. And so people think that they can come and commit these acts of violence against the police department or against city property, and then they disappear in the crowd and go home, and they think it's over. It's not over. Kalina says investigators have carefully built cases following the violence. We have surveillance video all throughout the city. We analyze that video. We break it down. And then we come looking for you for breaking the law. Just because you came out, threw something, and went home doesn't mean it's over for you. Among those arrested since May 30th, a man from Georgia who left graffiti. It's very upsetting because we have a fantastic relationship with the community here. Uh, a lot of these people don't live here, like this gentleman from uh, Georgia. Uh, and then they want to come into the city and they want to break the law and they want to target our officers. We're, you know, we haven't done anything wrong. We've been growing with our community. Uh, we serve our community proudly with, with honor and integrity. And it's very frustrating that you want to come harm us for something that happened somewhere else in the country. Now, Miami police say the man who stole the bulletproof vest was actually identified by an FBI task force in Aventura Police. Under questioning, he denied being paid to be part of the protest and said he did not set fire to any police cars. Chief Kalina says there could be more arrests tied to what happened on that memorable night of Saturday, May 30th. We're live at Miami Police Headquarters, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.